Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode oh, of Mix Motors. Um, got my little Riley boy here. You've now finished school now? Yeah. All finished school um, for the new year, so super happy. High five of that. So okay. he's now off until the new year. Yeah. With a you magic meet me and Mower Christmas. With a you tripper. We've got a new Mixers Mower live stream coming out, is what you're saying. Christmas live stream coming up, don't forget that. Um, by the time you guys see this video, that may have already happened. Uh, but I have bought myself a new uh, monitor as well. Got that from PC World uh, just to help me with my live streaming. So just a bit, bit bigger and more, bit more professional. So that's cool. Um, today we're going to be doing a um, little look at a Quokar cylinder mower. Uh, I picked up free of charge. Um, all runs apparently, but um, the owner contacted me and said you can have it for nothing. Um, they're moving house and they're going to come back to me next summer, uh, next spring, and find a mower off me next spring. But the mower they've got is making a god awful noise and not working right. So um, they said, come and get it if you want it. It's a little tiny 14S um, uh, quote cast, the Suffolk Punch style one. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I look at that. However, um, Riley, I don't know what you've been doing, boy, but um, we've got some serious parcels going on here. Um, so I'm just going to get through this quite quick as, if we can. Uh, first one here, this one here is from um, Henry. Henry Mawarski, I think his hey, name is. Um, yeah, he's um, he's bought you a little present, Riley boy. I have um, pre-opened these um, because I always pre-open anything that um, uh, comes through the post with Riley's name on it, because you just never know, right? So that one's for you. That's from Henry. Say thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. A bit of paper. Yeah. Thank you very much. A bit of stick stick on there, hang on. Let me do it. Yeah, let me just undo the stick stick for you and then you, then you, can, then you can rock and roll. Otherwise, we're going to be here till next Monday. Come on, mate. Shot! Yeah. Knives are shot. Right, there you go, get into it now. So this has come from Henry. He's uh, been on the old Amazon wishes, I think. Careful, careful. That's it, unwrap, unwrap, unwrap. Oh, my God! Oh, <laughs> oh God! Cool. He's got a Kinder Surprise Santa, which um, this is the only chocolate he eats, uh, this Kinder Surprise chocolate. So that's super cool. Thank you very much for the fat Henry boy. Much appreciated, as you can see. Henry, yeah. you're the best hero ever. You're the best hero. You're, a you're the best hero ever. This one has come from... Um, you? From, uh, from Neil F. and his wife. Uh, Neil F. Um, engine Repairs, he does. Go and check out Neil F.'s um, Engine Repairs. Okay. Uh, I think it's his channel name. Okay. I get confused. Let me, let me just take these bits off here. Uh, so this has come from um, from his from Mrs. Um, Mrs. Um, um, Mrs. F. Um, but uh, I know that there's a few bits inside. So yeah, okay. here you go. That's yours. Get into that. Bubble wrap. Bit of bubble wrap. We like bubble wrap. Yeah, let's do bubble wrap later. Oh my lord, Riley boy. Hang on, we've got loads in here. Right, hang on, hold up. Let's have a little look. So, so, so <laughs> okay. Uh, hi Mick, I forgot about you opening the gifts. Um, but you sent Riley, um, I've wrapped them up, sorry. So I always open stuff up. Um, but uh, she said she'd put some extra wrapping paper in uh, if you have time. But because it's come from Neil, um, I, do, I do trust Neil and, and his wife. So I, I know that nothing would be sent untoward. Uh, if you have time, you could wrap them back up for me, please. Yeah, no problem. Um, I put in two extra packs of Kinder Eggs for him to have now and then two packs for Christmas. Uh, sending love and blessings from um, from Michelle. That's, that's, that's Neil F's. Wife has sent um hang on mate has sent a um that's that's for me and me and mummy um our little fact that's for you so I've got a card each here to open up one each let's do it let's do it together shall we here we go here we go head where mine's got a little baby Jeebus on there with Mary I don't what have you got I got two Mick and Mrs P have a wonderful Christmas um is here to remember sending lots of peace and blessings have a lovely day. Uh, wishing you a happy and uh, healthy and happy Christmas and New Year. Um, God bless from Neil F, Michelle and Georgie. Thank you very much indeed for that. I'll tell you. It says, to Riley Boy, happy Christmas. I hope Father Christmas brings you everything you wanted. Lots of love from Neil F, Michelle, Georgie and Winnie the Cat. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, we've got some bits here. So, we've got these ones here. Uh, that says for now, so you can eat them today, or not all of them, but uh, uh, get, you can get, you, you, you know, we've got loads here, mate. Uh, so therefore, um, today, or, or, or as soon as pos, so he's got some there, these are from Georgie, yeah. Uh, we've got some ones here, I'm guessing they're, they're for, for, for Christmas, so we've got more eggs there for Christmas. Uh, we've got, what's this here? 
uh, to all at Mixed Muds, but I'll open that one in a minute. Um, got some spare wrapping paper. I've got a cut. Oh, 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 this is yours. The tags come off. Uh, to Riley Boy, Merry Christmas from Michelle, Neil F, and George. That's yours. And some spare Christmas wrapping paper should be needed, but we won't need that. Oh, my oh, you've got loads of stuff. Wow, look at you. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's try and keep it on the on the level playing field. We've got a uh, Ultimate Spider-Man sticker parade. Fantastic, got a sticker book there then. Lots of stickers. And you've also got a giant bag of craft. Oh, that's soup, look at that. You've got, um, he's got pipe cleaners, glue, sticky balls in there, uh, felt bits and pieces, tabs, and all sorts of art, art and craft stuff. So Nana and um, Riley Ball will love that because that's what they do together. They do the arts and craft stuff. So you can make, Look, you can make look caterpillars and all sorts of all sorts of wacky stuff. So you've got stars in there, stickers and sticky eyeballs and all Thank sorts you. of stuff. You could put the eyeballs on the back of Daddy's head, couldn't you? Yeah. That could be quite good. Well, right, so that's fantastic. So thank you very much, um, Neil F, um, Michelle and George. I've got a little parcel here. I'll open this one up. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll get it started because it's well wrapped. Mm. Let, let me bust it. I and mean, then you can then you can have a go. There you go. So that's for, that's from Neil F, Michelle and Georgie and the cat and all. Another little gift there. What have we got here then? Maybe I suspect Joker. it's a bag of washers. No, I suspect it's a bag of washers, no, nuts no, and bolts. Maybe chocolate. Maybe chocolate. Oh, well, let's hope so. Are you struggling there? No, I don't want me to take you this time getting the bottle. Chocolate. Yes! It's got a picture of a uh, French leg partridge on the front. I know, I, it's, it. I know it's French leg partridge. I used to shoot them. Yeah. I hear it. And in the back here, it says toffee and fudge assortment. Oh my lord, Riley boy. Maybe chocolate. Maybe this one we shouldn't tell mummy about, but keep this one a secret. There you go, we've got chocolate and fudge in there and uh, toffees and all sorts. So we can leave the toffees for mummy and I'll have the fudge because of my fillings. Please. So fantastic, thanks for that. Much appreciated. That's lovely, Hello, that Daddy. is. I like the tin too. The tin Daddy. might come in handy for um, down in the shop. Daddy. Yeah. Where the mum Oh, we've got loads here. I think this one actually. This one is just for Daddy, but I believe, what? but I believe there's something coming a bit later on for you from the same people. Daddy? Um, which was no address is hanging out. No, there's not. Daddy? Yeah. I do it. No, this is this one's Daddy's. Okay. okay. Right, there you go. Right, we're there. So I've got a little love letter here. Daddy. Hang on. Uh to Mick and Riley, uh, I might be for you as well then. Uh, thank you very much for your support towards our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. If there's anything we can help you with, please let us know. I hope you like the t-shirt. I've also included a hat to keep all your ideas warm this winter. <laughs> when you get some, um, when we get some kids merchandise printed, I will send something up for little Riley Boy. Best wishes from James. He's over at Hayes Machinery. Daddy. So that's the channel that I shouted out in my last live stream. Daddy. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. Um, they're a really good channel, and I, I, and I, I don't generally say they're not, if they're not, you know, but he's got a good channel. So he sent me over a nice little uh, woolly hat with a uh, YouTube channel on it. That's nice, I like that. It's a daddy's size too. That fits beautiful. A t-shirt from you. And I've got a t-shirt for daddy. They're gonna, oh, yeah. they're gonna, I'm not going to try on now. Uh, right. They're going to send uh, one for you rival later on. So that's cool. Um, just my size, which okay. is lovely. Um, Hayes Machinery, um, subscribe. So go and check out Hayes Machinery and uh, let them know that Mixed Mowers has sent you over there, okay? Uh, they do, um, they've got their own lawnmower, uh, you know, um, small engine uh, business up in up in Devon Way. And uh, they do comedy sketches, restorations, and they do the latest machinery reviews, all that sort of stuff. They are a super, Daddy? super, super great channel. So go and check them out. Uh, that's Hayes Machinery. Go and check them. Yeah. I watch you on the heavy YouTube channel. Fantastic. Um, so thank you very much for that, guys, from Hayes. This one is for for you. Finally. Um, now that one, that one, I think, I think this one is from Scrap It Man. Ooh. I think, if I've got it right. Um, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to help you. You, 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 you haven't got no nails. Yeah, let, let me just, let me just, let me just start. I know, I know you're trying to be Mr. Independent. I get Daddy, that. I see it. But you, there you go. Uh, but you haven't got no nails because you bite them. Sorry, Daddy. You're all right. I think this is from, from Scrap It Man. Go careful. I might be wrong. No, this is, yeah. Oh, my Lord. So this is from Scrap It Man, and he has sent a plethora of uh, Kinder Eggs. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another 12 Kinder Eggs there for Riley Boy. So there's 12 there. Uh, there's another uh, another 12. That's another 24 eggs you've got in uh, in one day, Riley Boy. 
on top of the uh, the other eggs you've been Daddy? sent. I'm telling you something. You're, you're, you've got more eggs than a chicken farm. Daddy? Yeah. You want more puzzle? No, I don't, need, I don't want to go yet. Um, so that's from Scrap It Man. So we've had Nil F, we've had Hayes Machinery, we've had, um, and Michelle, of course, and um, we've had uh, Scrap It Man, uh, Hayes Machinery, Nil F. I think that's it, isn't it? Daddy? I think that's it. Uh, oh, and Henry, Henry as well, cool Henry. So Daddy. this one here, I'm afraid to say this one's for Daddy also. Daddy? Yeah. You want more brushes? No, this is wrapping paper in there, mate. I see it. Where? Show me. No, this is wrapping paper, buddy. Yep, it's just wrapping paper. What's your size? Nothing, it's just wrapping paper. Come sit down. So this one is for Daddy. Okay. Um, it's, someone's bought this off okay. of my... Um, Daddy. Amazon wish list, and again, there's um, the problem with this Amazon stuff is that um, you don't always get to, you don't always get a name in here uh, who it's from. So this one I don't know who it's from, um, but they have sent me some carburetor spray, fantastic, two tins of that. You don't open it up because that'd be hazardous to health. Uh, two tins of carburetor spray. I don't use a lot of it, but I do I do use it um, for really dirty carburetors. And they've also sent me some three in one uh, white lithium grease spray grease. So that's cool. <laughs> Super happy. So if that was you that sent over um, the carburetor cleaning uh, spray and the lithium grease, please let me know because there's no letter in here. Not, not, not that I can see. I don't think it's fallen behind, behind the tabs here. It is. No, it hasn't. No, no, it hasn't. There's no name on there. So thank you very much to whoever sent me that. Much appreciated. This year, um, we've done absolutely fantastic with gifts and apparently Henry has also sent another two gifts over as well and some people have been saying they've been sending some bits and pieces so I'll just, I'll just keep pushing these, these videos out. This is like Christmas every day in the Mixed Mower Shack so absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you realise but Riley Boy is now modelling um, the new Mixed Mowers um, t-shirt design. Um, I've had some um, new designs printed up. I've got my Mixed Mowers one on two which is absolutely lovely. I love my white beat you vest. Um, you I've also got a few. Now I'm looking to sell these at some point. Not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, but we'll figure something out. So I've got these t-shirts here uh, with a new logo, uh, completely changed. And I have got two or three other logos as well, um, which, I'm, which I'm, well, I'm still working on. So I'm super happy with those. They're really cool, I like them. Um, got my, my, my vest one as well. Also got this white one as well, um, plain white one, which is quite cool. Mixed modes, as on YouTube. And also got a, a metallic version, which is quite, I like it a lot actually. It uh, doesn't stand out as well as some of the others, but I quite like it. It's got mixed mowers, uh, as seen on YouTube, all metallic. So that, that's quite cool as well. So if you are interested in getting a mixed mowers t-shirt at some point, uh, let us know. Just got to figure out how I'm going to price it and what have you, uh, especially if it's overseas and what sort of stuff. So I'll have to price it individually as we go. So I found the company that does them and uh, they do quite a good job actually. I'm quite happy with these. Um, but it's just figuring out how much it's going to cost to send it abroad uh, or what have you. So uh, send me an email if you are interested and I'll figure something out and uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, we've been ticking on for quite a while. Yeah, I know. And um, we've got stuff to do. So um, without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's have a look at this little Procast cylinder lawnmower. Okay, so here is the little uh, Crowcast. Uh, I think it's a 14S, I think, this one. But they're all pretty much the same, whether it be a Suffolk Punch or, or something similar. Even the Bound Moral, they are, they are, there's lots of similarities, okay? So this was given to me uh, by a gentleman. He said, come and get it. Um, said it's, it runs, although I haven't actually tried it. He said, it does run, um, but it makes a god-awful noise. Um, and the, uh, when the cylinder is... is activated it, it, it makes a clanking noise and all the rest of it so that's what we're going to look into doing today to see what's going on with this um, apart from that i've done nothing to the machine at all haven't even tried to fire it up or anything um, i noticed that the, the bolts here have been undone uh he has a, a bit of an inspection in here so let's um do this you've got to undo these four bolts here first once they're undone that'll come apart like so and um it all looks to be complete, as far as I'm aware. That done it very happy. Yeah, that, that pulley tensioner is seized. That's had it. And also that bottom gear cog has snapped completely in half. Let me just show you. So right down here, you can see this main cog's actually snapped. Um, so he's been in here because the other half isn't in here. So we need to replace the gear cog and replace the pulley tensioner. Uh, hopefully that, that should be enough to get this machine up and running. So let me get your back set up again and then uh, we'll continue with the rest of the repair. 
Okay, so a few tools. Um, 10 mil first. I don't know if a way might help me. Um, undo that. 10 mil goes in there. That comes off of there. And that's held on by a little tiny guide pin up the top here. Up here. That'll slide off. Put that to one side. Um, you want to try and remove the belt if you can. So just literally just pull the belt off of the, uh, the top pulley is how I do it. And then just rotate it. And by rotating it, we'll slip the belt. Okay, and belt can come off. This uh, bottom pulley will then retract. Uh, this gear looks to be okay. This is held on by three little tiny pins um, on here. So that's no, that's no problem. That looks to be pretty good. The pink cog. Yeah, that looks to be okay as well. Um, so the, the tensioner is the one that's causing a problem. I think that's probably what seized up first. And then um, catastrophic events have occurred uh, to make this one snap here. So that, that's probably a culprit right there. To remove your, um, your white gear, um, you want a, a 24 mil socket. And this would be a left-handed thread. So to, um, to do it up, to tighten it, you have to go uh, righty loosey and lefty and lefty the other way, okay? So to loosen it off, you want, want, to, you want to tighten it as, as a normal thread, okay? What you can do is get a little tiny hammer with a rubber, a rubber handle, put that into the cylinder, and that will then lock, lock that off, like so. Here it comes. Will it come off of there or not? Will it come off of there? It might actually come off of there altogether. I don't know, might not. So I just turn that without damaging the other cog. There it goes. Yeah, that's, uh, but that's a very, very common, common problem on these. They, they, they snap quite a lot. Little tiny bushing in there as well. So just double check inside here is all good. Got some little lithium grease. I might just give it a bit of a, a bit of a happy birthday in there. Uh, the, these are universal. They go either way. It makes no difference which way you put these in. So that can go into there, back where it belongs. Um, I've got another gear here, which is cool. Uh, they go on that way with a nut facing out. And don't forget, you want to loosen this, loosen it to tighten it. That makes sense. Goes to the left-handed thread. Stick that onto there, get your little hammer again, put it into the cylinder, and then we're going to loosen this, which will tighten it, because it's left-handed thread. Good enough. Doesn't have to be on there colossally tight. Good enough. Uh, so that's how you just remove, uh, do, do the gear itself, which is cool. That cylinder should now spin quite freely. Yeah, it does. That's good. Um, to remove the pulley tensioner, um, you want a flat-headed driver, and there's a bit of little tiny circlip just up here. Carefully, don't ping off and shoot yourself in the eye with it. There it goes. That comes off, and there's a, a captive shoulder bolt here. Um, the shoulder bolt will stay on, okay? And all you've got to do is wiggle it, and it will. Oh, there's a spring as well. Sorry, beg your pardon. There's a spring just behind here. Let me get you in to show you the spring. Two seconds. Oh, I've got you zoomed right in. So there's a spring just here, okay? And it's, um, it's got a long leg on it, and a long leg, it goes, goes around this shoulder bolt, and the long leg comes up to here, okay? And the short leg uh, goes onto this little black uh, bracket. All you wanna do is get your flat-headed driver and just get behind that spring and push that up and bring it out, just like so, okay? Once that spring's been taken out, we can then, there's a long leg just there, see? We can then, retract the entire um, pulley tensioner off. There's a spring just here to remove, which is uh, goes onto your, onto your cylinder cable. Take that off. And there's your, uh, there's your uh, pulley tensioner. You can see all the ball bearings are absolutely stuffed inside there. See, look, we're not doing what we should be doing at all. It's absolutely, absolutely had it. See, solid, won't move. So that'll go in the old scrap bin for uh, my scrap man, Sam. Let me get you set up the other side and we'll reinstall the other pulley tensioner. Okay, so now that pulley tensioner gone, uh, we can now reinstall it. Um, this shoulder bolt here, if you need, 
if that if that's broken at all, or, or if your <clears throat> if your um, pulley tensioner won't come off, you can access this by removing the two bolts out of the front of the cylinder. You've got one here and one over the other side there. Uh, that will then allow you to take the uh, the cartridge out, and then just up inside here, you'll find there's a 13 mil um, nut which um, holds this on. If that gets stuck on there at all, you can just undo that, undo that 13 mil and the whole lot come out together and you have to fight to get that pin off. But uh, generally, um, with a bit of lubrication, that they, they will fall off, so that's cool. So to reinstall, <coughs> I picked myself a second hand one of these. I uh, got this off of eBay. Let's give it a bit more lithium grease just to help it on its way. Good. That spins nicely. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hook up this little tiny spring um, onto the uh, onto the back of this bracket first. Hook him on, and then you want to get your your spring. Don't forget the leg goes up. That's how it looks like inside a device like that. Okay. So you want to push this halfway through first, and then push it. Mount your spring in in between the bracket, and then push it all the way home. Okay. Once you've done that, you can then get your circlip. So when I'm going to jab myself in the end. Circlip and a flat-headed driver. And right in the centre, if you just get hold of the circlip, right in the centre of it, you can then find it will ping in just like that. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a cable pulley tensioner all fitted. We've got a spring. Now it's time to fit that, so that spring uh, back onto where it come from. So all you want to do is get your flat-headed driver uh, there it is there, and you want to hook the little tiny little tiny piece of spring, hook it under your, your flat headed driver, and lift it up, and just clip it over top of this black bracket. Just like so, that's it. So now that's in there, and now it, 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 it will uh, rotate back on itself. See that? That's easy. A bit more lithium grease. Maybe a bit too much, Mick. Um, we can then get our next cog and pulley, um, and that's going to slide in between these two just here. To wiggle it till it goes on. Once it finds its place, you know you're home. You can then get your belt, uh, hook it over this big pulley first. It goes behind the, um, the pulley guide, and then just rotate it by hand and it go on. Oh, let's come off of there, let's go back a bit. There it goes. That's now on, and now you can see that pulley tensioner will now activate um, where you want it to. And also the cylinder will now spin as well. So it's all, it's all running together, okay? So that's good, we can then get our cover. Goes onto this little tiny um, guiding, uh, pulley um, belt guide pin here. That goes onto there. And then your little tiny 10 mil will go on there. And that's what holds your, your big pulley on in place. So stick him on. Nice and tight, that's good. That's all in place. Now's the time just to double check your pulleys are all, are all lining up as, as they should be. And they're not out of line and what have you, all good. This one seems to be okay, nothing wrong with that one. That's good. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm now gonna put the, um, the cover back on. Um, I'll give that a little tiny spray as well, just in there. Just to keep that lubed up. Plenty good enough. Put cover back on and then what we do is I'll uh, I'll take you outside and we'll uh, we'll go for a fire up mate. so let me get this cover screwed back down they are a bit tricky notoriously tricky to line up it'll be somewhere there I think uh, I want a little tiny allen key that's that one so I'll get this done up and I'll come back in two ticks. I'll meet you outside. We'll go for a fire up and see if we haven't sorted this little machine out. As I say, it was free um, and was given to me because it was making a god awful noise when you engage the cylinder. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Give us two ticks. I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's get the old mower out. A 
here it is. Um, as I say, I haven't done anything else to it. Um, haven't even tried to start it at all. Um, the cover was a bit of a pain to get on, but uh, a bit of light hammering sorts that out. I have noticed this cable up this top end is a little bit wonky as well. I might have to do a fix on that at some point. Let's try and fire it. Any juice in your girl? I've had this about a month, this thing. This mower. Plenty of juice in there. Let's turn it onto a choke. I'm hoping for this cylinder to, to, to cut in. Uh, it would be nice for it to stop as well and for the drive to work also. That's, that's the idea. Let's have a go. Bit of revs. Bit more revs. The cylinder's moving. I think that is a cable problem. Yeah, the cable's uh, the cable's broken up this end. It won't retract back. So there you go, drive work. Yeah. Pull the cable in so I can engage it. Yeah, but it was fixed up here. The cable's come out of the housing, this end, that's all it is. So that all works. Idols. and shuts off so it was a bit of a fix up this end um, but it all drives and also the uh, cylinder cuts in as well which is fantastic so super happy a bit more fettling and this machine will be good to go so nice little simple fix on the Crocast 14S lawnmower there, as you saw, new gear and new pulley tensioner and that machine's now all up and running, exactly as it should do, apart from the cable which cuts the cylinder in, it wants a little bit of work, only because um, it's coming out of its housing, that's the reason why. So I'm going to take the cable off, give it a bit of a grease up, see if that doesn't improve it, if not it'll be a new cable, and if it is a new cable, I'll come back to another video on it and uh, show you how to install that, but it's no biggie. Um, but a, a free lawnmower that is making a god awful noise has now been turned around and now um, will be ready for the season once it's been fully serviced. So super, super happy. Also, just um, Riley Boy come flying through the house a little while ago. Got a free gift off my Amazon wish list. Fantastic. Um, just after Christmas, just what I want. Um, I've got a triple pack of WD 40, which is what I use more for carburetor cleaning than I do for carburetor cleaners. Um, and that's come from where did a bit of paper go, I had. Here it is somewhere. Here it is. Um, a bit of paper. It's not very often I get a note with these. Uh, this has come from, um, what does it say? Hi Mick, uh, great live feed, really enjoy your channel. Give us a shout out. Steve the Transit Camper just started my YouTube channel. So Steve the Transit Camper has just started a new channel. I'm guessing it's all about um, camper vans and what have you. So go and check him out. I have been over there myself, had a little look at it. If it's your sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe to his channel and whack his bell and let him know that Mixed Mars has sent you. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.